at the completed show home for the International Builders Show. I'm John Emery with Preston Studios and I want to be sure to thank the National Association of Home Builders and Continental Homes and Interiors and uh, Jimmy Johnson and Harris Lear for the opportunity to participate in this wonderful project. The design motif that we worked with here at the show home for the International Builders Show was to create a 21st century sense of history. And so we worked with Stanley Kloppenstein to hand paint and fire different portions of this entrance. The black paint on the glass is fired in a kiln and the bevels are from action bevels and they are twice as thick as normal bevels. For the window upstairs at the IBS show home, we created a, an accent piece at the end of the hallway which mimicked the design seen in the floor. glass out, we trace the entire door pattern onto our template paper. We use the template paper to trace the pattern out onto the glass and that's what Jerry cut the glass out to. We're getting ready to take the door up to Stanley Kloppenstein in Cocoa Beach to have him paint and fire all of our trompe l'oeil uh, faux wrought iron on it. Before we do that we have to prepare the, uh, the work for transportation and we're taping all the glass down so it doesn't move while we take it up to Cocoa Beach. See, by the way you put the stick lighting on, you can make the one pedal look like it disappears behind the other. And then I'm going to create some... There you get the veins and, and the details. Mm-hmm.
And after we get it sort of all blocked in like that, we'll take a little fan brush here and very carefully shade. Take the video more off to get the mm -hmm. shading. And then that also brings it down to where you get some of the, well, more or less pure quality of the glass and the color. put it here on the kiln and what I try and do is line up the pieces all together and then after they're fired uh, this is what it looks like before it's fired it has kind of a grayish tint to it and then after it's fired it's all nice and shiny and so here we are uh, working on doing the copper foiling part of the copper foil technique each piece of glass has been ground around the edges and now we're doing the tedious part of applying the copper foil around the edges. This is what the solder adheres to and, and assembles the whole piece together. Every piece of glass has to have copper foil wrapped around the edge. There are actually four major, very labor-intensive parts of this whole process. First is in the creation of the bevel glass itself, which all has to be created by hand, grinding on wheels. Second is cutting out the additional pieces of glass. Third, as you've seen, is the copper foiling. And fourth is the actual soldering of glass. And this is what actually puts it all together. The solder bonds with the copper foil, and this is what holds it together. Of course, it takes a chemical solution to be sure that this material adheres properly. Uh, incidentally, uh, you not only solder the front side, but you also flip the whole door over and solder the back side. As you can see, we're getting ready to our final step in preparing this door for transportation uh, to install it. Uh, right now you can see where we've actually soldered it together. The uh, lead lines all show. But now we're going to make the trompe l'oeil effect come into effect by making all these lead lines totally disappear. And from the street, when you look at it, you won't know where the lead lines are. So that's why we're calling this trompe l'oeil and faux wrought iron.